Okay, listen. Guys, we started, in fact, you know, honestly, I'll take some credit for myself today. I started Avishkar Box back in 2011. The reason I started Avishkar Box in 2011 was fairly simple. I actually like to build stuff. You know, I used to work in a company. I had done my, you know, done my time in the company for a long time. So I built something that I really wanted to do as a six-year-old. Built a robotics good. And honestly speaking, it was a very bad piece of apparatus. It really sucked. But I built it mostly for fun. I said, okay, you know, let me see if somebody is interested. And it turns out everyone is interested. So what I did was, from 2011 when I started Avishkar Box, I worked for almost three more years and created a lot of new stuff. Stuff like, you know, CP like 2.0, how many have used them? It works, right? To a certain extent it works. It's a Bluetooth controlled brain which can control three motors. It's a non-programmable brain. I created CP, CP Full 2.0 which is essentially a programmable brain with an LCD screen which can control three sensors or rather take inputs from three sensors. Control how many motors? Four motors. And you can write software on it. I also created something called Robbie and Bonnie which ma'am was very nice in, you know, appreciating, although I, I, I mean, if you ask me, I think it was okay, not that great. So I created all of that in last three, four years. And so it's 2016, what new things have we created? What are we going to take the market out? How am I going to tell you that, you know, maybe for some of you, I could be that inspiration that we in India can make hardware and amazing hardware. So for some of you, I might be that inspiration. I know I really, you know, it's not really out there, but still, so what are the things that we are going to do in 2016? Let's have a look at it. So, of course, we are going to make a CP Lite again. We are going to make a CP Full 2.1 again. We are again going to make CPX, which is like, you know, some of you have used. It has a breadboard on top. You can make your own circuits, program your circuits out of it. And we are going to again make Robbie and Bonnie. Cool, right? No? And it, this is how it will look like. Awesome, right? It's like all the four PCBs compiled together on a wooden piece, it will be this big. Exciting? Either you are not paying attention or you don't have taste. Does it? Is it exciting? Or how about this? Alright, coming back. So SR 644 series, you're not asking what SR stands for till the time presentation is done. 644, don't even try asking me. So what, what, what exactly is this? It looks like a box, right? It's a brain, but why is it so special? I believe honestly, okay, why is it so special? Touch screen, okay. So SR 644 series is critical. I believe it's world's most advanced robotics electronics part or electronics design system and what makes me believe that let's see the so first what you can do is you can have you can actually slide in a motor jack and it can become a cp light so it can actually become something like a cp light the same brain can take shape of a cp light which means you can control it like your normal cp light you can again slide in two three ports or four ports on the other side there, those are sensor ports, so it ends up becoming what? It ends up becoming what? And if you want, you can slide in a breadboard on the side, it ends up becoming what? So right from something very basic, extremely basic, you can add more stuff to it and it can become modular. So you know, there is a reason that I believe that ours is going to be the most advanced robotics design system in the world. Part of the reason is because look at any design system or robotics in the world. There are two dimensions to it. One is how modular it is, how modular it is, or the second is how much ease of use is there. So, you know, let's look at what all is available in the market and, uh, you know, map it across two quadrants, X and Y axis. X axis is ease of use, Y axis is modularity, right? So let's see what all is available in the market. Of course, you have your usual suspects, Lego and Vex. They are extremely good at ease of use. What we believe we have a winner in, at hand is SR644 series because it's not only modular, 
it is also easy to use. And some of you who have used some of our old products might say, oh my God, I don't believe it. So I have reasons otherwise. And here's some of it. So modularity because this CP light, or this brain ends up taking different shapes. So it's like water. You add more stuff, it becomes, it takes the shape of the glass that it is in or the container it is in. So it can be a basic brain, central. It can be a CP light, SR. It can be a CP full, which has both the sensors and the programming functionality. It can be CPX, which can be used to create electronics or create circuits and program them as well. Why is it easy to use? So fine, modular, do you agree with me? It's going to be the world's first modular electronic design system? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Now let's see why is it easy to use. So what's a typical program, pro, you know, what's a typical way that you will write programs or software for robotics? You will get a computer out, either a laptop or a desktop. You will write what? You will write what? You will write code, whatever software that is. You will write software, you will get a burning cable and then you will connect it. And you will burn the program. Tell me the minimum amount of time that is required to burn a program onto a robot like that. Three minutes, Three minutes it takes to, for a system to boot up. Oh, the whole process. Where is the brain? Get the laptop on, get the burning cable. I actually went ahead and I did the calculation. It turned out for an oldie like me, it was around 15 minutes. Maybe the systems I'm using are old, but it took me 15 minutes to find everything in one place. So I said, okay, can we do, can we change that? And that's what we did. So ease of use. Your Avishka brain can be programmed there and then. It is a touch screen on and top of it. You can write the program right on the screen of the robot. Right on the screen of the robot. You don't need to have a burning cable. You don't need to have a software specifically, the bro if you like it, you can clap. <laughs> on the right side, on the left side, in the front. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see what else. It is voice capable. And I'm going to demonstrate that today. So every brain from Avishkar box now, whether you bought a light kit, full kit, X kit, will be enabled on voice. So it will recognize what you said. I'm not saying 100%, but 80% of times it will recognize your voice. Uh, that we are going to talk about that. We will discuss discounts later. Okay, boys and girls. So what else? Of course, every brain now will have an inbuilt Bluetooth module. So you don't need to buy a separate module now. So that means it can be controlled by a phone application. It can be controlled by another brain. Because the two brains can talk to each other. Not only that, it can be controlled by a laptop which has a Bluetooth connection. Is that cool? And then for oldies like me, we still have the PC option. You can write programs in a computer, still get the burning cable, connect it onto that port, and that's it. So that's, that's what we did, you know, in terms of the most elec advanced electronic design system, I believe. I'm going to talk about that, I'm going to talk about that. So what else did we change? You know, we had this thing called, 2015, we had this thing called Robo-G. And... You know, I, I know some of you have worked on it. it. It has problems. I know that. I totally am aware the pains that you have adhered. So have I. So the problems that it had was, you know, your motor direction really doesn't tell you what direction. Whether it is clockwise, anti-clockwise. The time doesn't tell you how much time. So what we did was we changed it. Good or bad? All right, so what did we change it to? We thought, you know, let's make it extremely, extremely simple. Let's have it very, very simple interface, simple, simple squares, rectangles, stack them together. So we did something like this. Uh, if you are liking that, you seriously have issues of taste. 
Amazing. I mean, what I did was nothing, right? Still the motor doesn't show what ports it has. Still the LCD display doesn't tell what is the content that we are trying to display. So I was trying to fool you. So, you know, there's this very, very well-known guy by the name Steve Jobs. Everyone has heard of him. He said, great, good artists copy and great artists... Great artists... So, you know, that's what we said. We thought, what is the most advanced programming GUI software in the whole world for the kids? Somebody, I had someone. That's what we did. So, what about this? In case if you liked it. So, Scratch is an open source. It's developed by MIT. What we did was we opened the open source. We created our own code on top of it. And now, for a change, you can see what is the variable value. You can change the variable value there itself. For a change, you can see the condition. You can change the condition there and then itself. For a change, you can see the motor direction. And for a change, for the first time in our small history, you can insert and delete blocks. You can insert and delete blocks. That's what I really had all of it for you know you guys. In case if you liked it, I would appreciate our applause. I would also want you to thank my product development team. Can I have my PD team out here? They worked, literally worked day and night for making this happen. All the PD guys. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, Anuj. So five of them are equivalent to 50 of any big organization. And we have a very simple machine or simple mission to change the world. All right. So we have few interesting moments that some of our friends have captured. Let's see if we can show them. And thank you very much for your time.